Hey, heads up. Good shit. Wow, he's going really freaking stuff. Oh! <laughs> oh, get tricked! Oh, the, the wall was blocking my heli shot. If I had done back to back heli and jet shots. Hey guys, my name is Waterdog, and today I've got a short little commentary to explain what's been going on the past few weeks with my channel. So, as a lot of you probably have already seen, I've been playing quite a bit of Counter Strike, and some of you guys who are more Battlefield fans than Counter Strike fans are probably wondering about this. And the reason is that lately Battlefield 4 has been kind of rubber banding pretty bad. I don't know what it was, because they updated something, it was rubber banding. Um, I couldn't really, it was almost unplayable on some of the maps, but I think they got it fixed now because I was just playing last night and everything seemed fun. So hopefully all that has been resolved and there's no more of that stupid rubber banding because we all know we don't want to go back to the days of Broken Field 4. Now as far as Counter-Strike Go goes, <laughs> Go goes, um, I've kind of had an addiction with Counter-Strike lately. Um, I've been playing with Faith Gaming, uh, his little brother, a lot in the past week or two. And the reason is that I feel like Counter-Strike is such a well-balanced game, and it's... I, I don't know, for some of you think it's stupid because it's so simple, but to be honest, the way the game mechanics work and the way how kind of competitive it is in the ranking system, and the kind of lore behind the Counter-Strike competitive scene, it's really fun to get into, and once you get good at Counter-Strike, it's really hard to pull away from the screen. Now, the next thing I want to get into is a little piece of information about some upcoming Battlefield 4 related events. Now, on Wednesday of this upcoming week, we're supposed to get information on when the second Battlefield Hardline beta comes out. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am totally 100% looking forward to Battlefield Hardline. And to be honest, I really don't understand the hate revolving around this game. Because, I mean, do you remember the Battlefield 3 in-game DLC? You know, the one where they added the dirt bikes and captured the flag, and it seemed like a really well pieced together piece of, you know, downloadable content? Well, Visceral made that DLC. And now they're making Battlefield Hardline. Remember how awesome that DLC was? Now, granted, there were a lot of DLCs in Battlefield 3 that were really good, but if, if it's anything like the Aftermath DLC, the game itself is, you know, with the cops versus robber thing, I think it's going to be amazing. And if you think back even further, do you guys remember when Battlefield Bad Company, the original one, first came out? It first came out for the 360, and of course, PC fans went absolutely nuts. And they were right to go nuts, because, you know, they were left out of the first one. And uh, by the time the second one rolled around, no matter what the console players think, because PC players really don't don't care what console players think at all anymore, which to some degree I can understand, but some degree I think is totally crap because, you know, there's a lot of, you know, good pieces of advice they're missing. But when the second one rolled around, no one thought it would be good either. Um, they said it's still a console game, they said it wouldn't be, you know, the graphics were bad, blah blah blah, which the graphics on that game for the time were actually really pretty good. But as soon as that game released, it became kind of an overnight hit. Um, if you guys remember, Modern Warfare 2 was out at the time, and it was trying to compete with that, but that was kind of the game that was everybody's first Battlefield for console players and a lot of PC players, and it was my, it was personally my first Battlefield, and I love that game. And I realize Battlefield Hardline may not live up to the, you know, the greatness of Battlefield with Bad Company 2. I mean, that's a really, that's one of the top three Battlefield games that everybody loves. I don't know if, I'm not saying it's going to live up to those expectations, but it's definitely something to take into consideration when you're comparing two games, and you can't really judge it until the game's been out for like two or three months, then you can really make your opinion on a game. So the final thing I want to say is that um, I am making a Counter-Strike Funny Moments before I get back into Battlefield 4. Actually, I'm probably going to play Battlefield 4 a lot more, but this is kind of going to be my little last bit of Counter-Strike before moving back into BF4 for the next week or two. I'm going to try and, you know, mix the channel up with games, but I think I'll always revolve back to Battlefield because it's one of those games where it's just easy to come back to after playing, you know, another game for a while. So, um, whatever you games you guys want to see me do in the future, I think I'm definitely going to do some of the old-fashioned CODs like COD 4, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, you know, some of the old classics that no one's really played. I'll probably do some live commentaries on those, as well as some CSGO live commentaries. But I'd really like your opinion on what games you'd like to see me play, 
And I swear to God, if one of you says Daisy, I'm gonna flip because it's it's literally broken. I, I I'll, I'll buy Armor Three and put Breaking Point in, but I am not playing Daisy. So anything but Daisy, I'll be good with. So this is gonna wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment down below telling me which game you wanna play, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.